Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing this orange hair, um, half up, half down. I didn't really get much footage of this half up, half down because girls stress me out, like, <coughs> girls stress me the fuck out, like I couldn't even fake the front for camera. So, I do have um, all the details on what color I use, how I got this color, um, installing it a little bit, and a little bit of the half up, half down. So... Stay tuned and see how I got this, I guess. I'm so in love. All right, shitty intro aside, we've got our hair that was sent to me from West Kiss. And then I'm using the Kiss Colors Cajun Spice Temptation and Aussie Moist and gloves. Of course, you're gonna need all those. So, you know, we know how watercolor works. You just get the hot water, you feel me? Put the dye in the water. It's not rocket science, it's easy. Y'all can do it. Um, colors like this, you don't really have to worry about staining your lace because, you know, it's not like a deep color. But for colors like maybe black or reddish colors, they could stain your lace. So, if you guys would like a video on how to avoid staining your lace, um, I could definitely bring that out, but, um, as of right now, you don't have to worry about this for this kind of color. But I would like to say, girl, buy three bottles of dye. It's going to save your life. Just just don't be dumb like me. Get the three bottles because I, I didn't include the footage, but I definitely did have to dye it a second time because it just wasn't enough for me. So the last clip of it in the sink where it was... um. I, that had a conditioner on it yep it had conditioner on it it sure did <laughs> that was me just showing off the color that i had finally got came up with and then now we're just gonna go ahead and install it i did flat iron it using my revlon flat iron like always and um i used my ion silk as usual and i'm using ghost bond to secure my wig down i didn't fast forward any of this i just feel like i wanted you guys to see it in like realistic time it takes me like maybe 20 minutes to install my wigs after I have my um ball cap on super easy I promise like people always be like how do you do it you can do it too like I promise I would not lie to you um while I'm doing that I'm just gonna tell you some things about this hair that I noticed um I was gonna say number one first of all even with what I'm about to say in mind this hair super good quality this lace melted effortlessly um the hair has a nice luster on it that I really liked. Um, you know, some, some quality hair, you feel me? But um, while I was flat ironing, I did see a couple pieces of plastic. And I don't know if, like, you guys would be bothered by that. So I did definitely want to mention that because I feel like everybody should, like, know. Like, or not everybody should know, but, like, if you plan on purchasing this hair, you should know, like, what you're going to get yourself into. So I would not say this hair is 100% human. I could be wrong. There could be some other factors as to why there's plastic in the hair. But as I was flat ironing the hair, I just saw that and decided to throw that out there for you. So, yeah, that's all I got to say. So just enjoy me installing this. And I'll be back when I start to put it in the ponytail, the half up, half down style that you saw in the beginning. And I'll give a little more details on that. Now let's get into this half a pap down tea, sister. It pissed me off to the maximumist level of hair that could piss me off. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but girl, this made me mad. Like, this made me so mad. Like, my lace kept lifting up because I was putting water on my hair, and it was just a whole fucking mess. So I would recommend doing this style like after you had your hair like 
you've had it a couple days you feel me like after your install has been like solidified my install wasn't like solidified yet so like shit kept lifting up and it was just a mess and then by the time i finished with the hair like i had an attitude so i didn't even like it like it was just a mess but i definitely think this hairstyle would be cute on somebody else like and it might have been cute on me too but at the time like sister i was just annoyed like i don't know if you can see the frustration on my face but sister the frustration was there bruh. but you know we live and we learn so all I, all I did was um pre-do my baby hair and just like put him in a position to be swooped up and then i just added a little eco styler and i did hot comb a few areas and then after that, I got my, my ponytails, like, positioned. But, you know, like, frontal ponytails are so tricky because, like, I don't know why. They're just hard to do for me personally. Like, you know, niggas like Alonzo can can, can do a, a ponytail with ease. But bitches like me, bitches like Julia, it's difficult. All that aside, I really did enjoy the outcome. You know, this burnt orange is perfect for the fall. Come on, get your fall colors on and popping. More fall colors are coming, definitely. More in-depth dyes are also coming. I'm, I'm going to step away from the watercolor shit. So, I've been talking for so long. I just wanted to make up for that shitty intro I did. I am so sorry about that. You know, like I said, I cannot fake the funk for the camera. If I'm in a bad mood, y'all, I'm just in a bad mood. And that's just that. You feel me? So, you know, I hope my voice over, you know, brought back the personality and life that I, you know, like to have on my channel. So, yeah. <laughs> now I should be about finished. And here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching. And I will definitely see my next video. Bye, beautiful. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, beautiful.